Hi guys, another video, another adventure, and I will be exploring today the heritage town of Taal, Batangas. So I'm quite excited and I'm in the jeepney right now going to Buendia Bus Terminal. I will be taking the Lemery Bus going to Taal, a crossing where the Flying V gasoline station is and the fare is 238 pesos. And then once the bus we're gonna drop me there, I have to cross on the other side because that's where the jeepney that were going to take me to the Taal town and the fare in the jeep is only 11 pesos and I was just gonna tell the jeepney to drop me where the St. Martin of Tours Church Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is BB, and in today's video, it's kind of special guys because I will be featuring this heritage town that is the home of Barong Tagalog and the balisong or the butterfly knife which is the heritage town of Taal Batangas and the first place that we will gonna explore about this town is the famous the biggest church in the Philippines and in Asia which is the minor basilica of Saint Martin de Tours and it is right in front of me guys look at this amazing church this was the third church that was built in Taal Batangas first was the ruins in San Nicolas and second is the Sakai Sasai Church and this is the third one so once you enter the church you can already smell the age of this church It took 10 years for this church to be completely built and it is equivalent to five churches. That's why it's the biggest church in Asia and in the Philippines. Basilica of Saint, Saint Martin of Tours and that's the church guys so from there you will just have to walk up to here and then straight to the Galleria Taal so we are now on the second spot that we will be visiting here we are here in Galleria Taal so guys this is the only vintage camera museum in the Philippines so this is really amazing The third thing to do in Taal is to explore Taal Market. So from uh, shops that makes Barong Tagalog because this is the Barong capital in the Philippines to bridal collections and this makers of gowns. So it gave me an idea, you know, when I will gonna have my wedding <laughs> in the future. You can also find the special delicacies and dishes that is unique in Taal here and uh, uh, I will gonna show you guys on the next video of how much and what to eat here in Taal once you are in Taal Batangas you might as well come to the San Nicolas Bay Walk so we are currently right now here in San Nicolas Bay Walk and it is only 30 minutes it's quite far, a 30 minutes tricycle ride from Taal Batangas. So before guys, San Nicolas, the smallest um, municipality here in Batangas. But previously, long time ago, this is also part of Taal municipality. So this is the Bay Walk. This is along Taal Lake. And this is Taal Lake over here. It's quite rainy here a little bit. And that is the Taal volcano that has erupted last january 2020 there is a construction currently at the moment of this building but i am not sure what is this building probably these are like commercial spaces for rent in the future This is Taal Lake. It's so clear. The water is so clear as you can see right now. And there are some local people who are fishing right now. So you cannot imagine you because as you can see, this is really peaceful. It's so unbelievable, you know, guys, that just two years ago, this one erupted. And even in Manila, there are some ash, ash fall. 
if you get lucky then oh, you can also try maliputu dish a fish that only uh, grows here in lake taal another place that you can explore is the taal night market it is open from 5 pm to 7 pm and here you can see filipino street foods and you can also buy um dishes here for a dinner and yeah some dishes that is only unique here in taal batangas so what we really like here in taal batangas even it's uh, night time already it's 7 15 in the evening but then again we feel safe like walking along the streets of taals and the people are so nice and so warm here and you feel safe and welcome here Good morning guys, so it's our second day here in Taal, Batangas and now it's 6.40 in the morning. I really had a good rest, sleep last night. How about you Kuya Ewing? How's your sleep last night? I Is slept good? well because it's raining. It's raining <laughs> and it's cold. Just a few steps from our accommodation, just literally because our accommodation is just over there. So this is the San Lorenzo Ruiz Step. So we will be going down to this San Lorenzo Ruiz Step or locally known as Hagdan Hagdan. So of course, um, this is named after the first saint in the Philippines, San Lorenzo. And it connects the wells to Santa Lucia. So this is what it, it looks like. It's 125 steps. So there are some steep steps and then there are some wider steps over there. So let's see guys. Look at the Kaisasai church. So right now we cannot go inside because they are doing restoration of the convent and the wells of Santa Lucia as part of the national treasure. Currently, they are just doing the mass over here outside. Here in Casa Recuerdos, you can actually wear a Filipiniana and Barong Tagalog costume here and there is a photo shoot here that you can do and you can take home all the photos I think three five hour photos you know wearing the national costume of the Philippines Filipiniana or Barong Tagalog but the fee is 350 pesos what's good thing from our accommodation is everything is walking distance like some of the um, uh, ancestral house here is just a few steps from the accommodation Our ancestral houses and museums here are like next to each other so it's just easy to walk from one place to another so it's very convenient guys you don't have to worry about transportation here or whatever because everything is close to each other well, we are here in casa villa vicencio so villa vicencio is uh, a famous name or household name here in taal batangas this historical home is very priceless it's more priceless because of the roles of its owners played in the spanish revolution so this is a special home at the moment it is temporarily closed and actually since this is a private home so every time you go here you should do it by special arrangement and it only opens on friday saturday and sunday from 8 a.m to 5 p.m We are here now in Apasible Museum. This Apasible home has been the meeting place for Dr. Jose Rizal, Mariano Ponce, and other heroes a long time ago. So as you go inside here in Apasible Museum, the guard will gonna let you uh, watch a 10 minutes video. God, this is so amazing. Look at how huge the house is. Really nice. Look at the quality of these woods. OMG. So beautiful. I have a goosebump of this house because this is really beautiful. You know, for such a long old house. Look at the furniture. Did you know that the kind of wood that they are using of, for this house was from the big land of their 
um, parents or grandparents from the forest that they own. The grandparents of Leon owned 35,000 hectares of land, which has a really good kind of tree that has been used for the woods in this house. It's so sturdy, the floor. Me and Kuya Irene is really amazed of this house. The most beautiful ancestral house that I've ever seen. It seems yeah, that's really good quality. Mm, yeah. So fabulous. Grandiose. The piano is still working up to this moment. Oh my god, guys. This is really beautiful house. The Apasibli Museum is just a few steps in front of the Galleria Taal. Look at this accessories here. Old. Oh my god, there's still like a name on it, Matilde. And look at this coin purses. There is this bed, this dresser over there. Look at the restroom over there. There are also like bottles of perfumes over there. I think these are kind of expensive. Look at the chandelier. It's made of marble. This is really huge house. This dinnerware set. OMG. MG, look at the floor. <laughs> oh my god. This is so amazing. Look at their cooking area, the kitchen. OMG. Wow. Look at this. And this is where they store the water. So amazing. Wow. This is where they do the laundry, I guess. It's so big. It's made of wood. They will gonna do the fire here, Kuya Wing, and then the wood. Oh, yes. Maybe while cooking, they are sitting here. Actually, my grandma still like this. This is where they were gonna store the leftover food so that the cats will not be able to reach it. Galeria Taal over there. This is Tampuhan Cafe, but at the moment it seems that it is closed. So we are here now in Marcela Agoncillo Museum, and this is free entrance museum, just like the Apasibli Museum, and they just accept donation from the visitors and tourists here. Just like Apasibli Museum, they were gonna let you watch a video first before you were gonna enter to the museum. <laughs> Marcela Agoncillo is the wife of Felipe Agoncillo and Marcela is called the mother of the Philippine flag because she's the one who who headed who headed the sewing of the first Philippine flag that was used last um, June 12, 1898 by uh, General Emilio Aguinaldo the proclamation of the independence of the Philippines This is really amazing guys because visiting here has like touched my heart because you know we tend to compromise to take for granted the liberty the freedom that we are exercising right now but these people in the history like um, Marcela Agoncillo, Felipe Agoncillo, Leon Apasible, Galicano Apasible that has been the heroes in our history who have dedicated their lives you know so that we can have this liberty and freedom that we are enjoying right now so it's so nice you know to sometimes you know take a while to like go back into the history so that we can appreciate what we have right now so i recommend you guys to come and visit so behind me is the municipal hall of taal batangas 
it is being surrounded with this old ancestral homes here so beautiful homes it's so nice that they were able to still preserve these houses this is the white house here the house of agoncillo the white house is just near at the arc of Taal. Taal is also the Balisong capital or the butterfly knife capital in the Philippines. So you can also buy here. You can buy different knives here. These are the prices. Now we are here in the tricycle going to the crossing where we are going to ride the bus going back to Manila. And the tricycle is only 30 pesos each. So we will be paying 60 pesos for this tricycle to bring us to the crossing. What can you say about this trip, Kuya Iwin? I felt amazing and educated. So we are here now at the crossing, here in the Flying V Garsulin Station, waiting for the bus. Going back to Manila, I would like to take this opportunity as well to thank Stephen from Perth, Australia because he's the one who sponsored this trip. Thank you so much Stephen for um, trusting in my channel to feature Taal Batangas. I feel like I'm a foreigner in my own country because I don't even know about the heritage town of Taal before he he told me about this place. So thank you so much because this is like an eye opener for me and my cousin visiting here. And thank you so much for believing in me and my channel to feature this place. If you have any questions, just drop it on the comment section below and I will gonna answer your questions. Yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you like it. I hope you will get help my channel, you know, by liking or doing a comment and subscribing into my channel and see you in the next one.